So you learn how to do some vibe coding, but this is where I think a lot of people get stuck. And I am going to teach you how to actually get unstuck in this sort of situation. It's debugging. So when you like try to build some application using cursor or any other AI tools, you spend a lot of time like trying to debug what's wrong with the code, but you don't know where to start. In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually debug codes. I'm going to break some apps that I built, how to use some tips and tricks to actually do certain things in certain way to fix your problems. So stay tuned and watch the whole video for a lot of different techniques. And, and yeah, let's get started. So right now I have my old application that I built in one of my other video. And this is basically a very simple react application that kind of mimic the YouTube homepage. And in order to start this application, I have to do is like npm run dev. And I'm going to show you what it kind of looked like right now. So this is what it's looking like in the application. It's very similar to YouTube. And you can see it have nice effect here as well. Everything kind of like clickable and it's pretty good. Uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to break certain things in the application. So you guys know how to actually debug some things. So for example, this requires certain properties like a prop in order to view this cars in here. So what I'm going to do is actually delete this and let's say my application breaks, for example. So I refresh this and I go back There's the application is not working. So the first thing you want to do is whenever you do some kind of an AI prompt and you build some app or sometime the application breaks, I want to show you exactly what step to take in order to debug certain things and how to talk to AI models to make sure you untangle from the error. The first thing first, I don't know what is happening. What I'm going to do is go to the inspect on my Chrome. If you're using a different browser, you're going to have an inspect as well. So in here, you can see that where the error is coming from. It says the video is not defined. So it's looking for something like this and in the video card. So what I can do is I have some information and I want to like fix that. So what I can do is I can go to my video card. So on the console log is saying this is where the problem is. So I can go to cursor and tell there is an error in this page. So what I can do is like I can highlight the whole thing, the whole control alt. It's going to highlight the whole page and I can add a chat to it, add to chat. If I do that, that line is going to be added. So from zero, from one line to 51 is going to be added to my cursor context um, AI prompt. So I can now tell this page or this video card have some issues. Can you check and fix any issues? Press enter. So it looked like it actually found the issue and I think it's going to add the video on the prompt here. So it did. So it's going to tell you it gonna it's going to analyze everything and then it found something on the video card.jsx, which is it need the video card video prop in here and it just like it's missing that. So it's added that in. So it can tell it's going to go over and give you all the explanation to change the component definition to this. And that was the fix. So after the fix, I can do a few things. I can actually accept just the line that change. So they changed just one line in here, which is you added this back in. So I can add, just accept this change, just one line, or I can accept the whole file change, or I can accept all in here. Since it's just the one line change, I can actually do this, save this and go back to my application and you see it's working fine. So that's one way to debug things kind of if you have some issues you can use that to fix your problem um, i want to go over a couple more so let's see what else can i find so here i'm gonna get rid of this grid right and now it looks kind of weird very weird so sometimes if you generate an application it's not going to look like this 
or look exactly how we want so in this case what i can do is i can snap this i can do like a snippet tool on windows or you can like do that on the mac as well and i can like just screenshot this and what i can do is go back to cursor and tell add the image in here so i added my screenshot image and i'm going to tell cursor that this looks wrong as it's very zoomed in on the video card can you make the video card into grid of four cards so what i'm telling is make a grid of four card in a row in a row right so press enter and see what it does like i just told them in english this is what to do and see what it does if it so it looked like it added some responsive grid on the element I can see what file it changed. It changed two files. One is the video card file. So I don't know what it added in here. Um, and the other, they changed the grid file. So they added this on here. So I added more code than I deleted before, which is good because it's making it more performant and responsive. So I can like accept all instead of individual. So that way, it's all the changes are being saved as they did. So if I go back now, you can see they added more than five rows actually because I'm in my largest screen. If I go to a smaller screen, it's actually become four rows and then three rows, two rows, one rows, which is pretty good. I mean, I kind of like it, how they made the changes. It's more responsive now. So this is one way to go about and change your styling error. So you do is you add a snapshot on the contacts. If you add this in here, it's the same thing and that's how to do it now i also want to show you a couple other things like debugging this so if you see these icons are pretty small so what i can do is i can do and the snapshot this over here this snapshot is for the icon so if i expand and close the icon if i'm on the close option the icons are a little smaller so let's see how to actually fix this. So I'm going to add that snapshot. When I close the nav bar, uh, icons become smaller. Can you make it a little large icon? Let's see what it does. So it looked like it made some changes. I can actually go to my website and see the icon is bigger now, which is pretty cool. So they did exactly what I wanted and it's nice. It added a scroll, but you know, we can like add more changes to it to remove the scroll here, but that's pretty cool. The icon was increased and I'm happy with it. So that's one way to do it again, two different file changes. So I want to accept all instead of individually and it's going to be accepted there as well. So you see how if you provide the images, it kind of know exactly where to look for, what to change and things like that. Now, another debugging technique I want to show you guys is, let's say if you're looking for this input, you want to fix some things in here or add some effect. How do you find where it is in the file of your application? So what I suggest is you open up this magnifying glass and search I'm looking for search input. So this one have a search placeholder. So it actually found it over here on the placeholder. If I change anything in here, it changed that placeholder. So I know exactly where to look for this uh, input. And I can say, I can, let's say, make some crazy styling in here, make the input and add to chat in here. I do add to chat, it added just that line input. I want to style this input and make it more modern. I'm going to make it very vague. I'm not going to tell them what to do and let's see what it does. No? So look like it changes some styling on the header. So on the header file, they added some styling, smooth animation, focus state, better visual design. I'm going to accept everything. 
and let's see what it looks like it kind of look a little nicer you see that i, I can like have a shadow on that the hover state increase there's a nice blue background light so i know i'm in there focused added some focus state and it also fixed this padding issue that it had before which is pretty nice so it did what i expected and that's one of the major way you're gonna find things it's like when you know when you don't know where this is located you can actually search that part search the text in here and find that exact location where it is happening so if you don't if you don't have to understand coding to actually make some changes so that's a big way how i you know changes things and debug as well so if you see certain things are not how you want you can actually find the exact line where it's happening and highlight that to add to chat or control l shortcut to add to chat and then tell them what you want to do so that's the big way how i go about debugging it well, i hope you guys were able to pick up some tips and tricks on how to debug your application when you're building it using cursor I have a few more videos check them out make sure you like comment and subscribe and check out the free guide that i have linked down below and also check out this video as well see you on the next one